You took the key, huh? Yeah. Slid the key over. Key thief. This Welcome be back. The key. We're the bourbon junkie. Nobody knows what the key is. And probably most people know the yeah. key. Yeah. We're the bourbon junkies. I'm Dan. I'm Sean. And tonight, we open a brick of cocaine. You're gonna unwrap all that, huh? This is how you un this is how you do cocaine. You can just jump like hyperlapse this. Oh well, I found the end of that one. Oh, then he wrapped this one this way. You might as well just hyperlapse this. This is way more than you than thought. I expected. Yeah. Oh, oh, they're gonna come out. Oh, oh. Nope, kind of. Two, B, A. We don't know what these are at all. Now that I've died of old age. You could have talked about who they were from. I gotta get this off now. Will Gretel. William. I don't know why it goes by. But... Bill. Could be Bill. Does William Please. go by Dick? No, that's Richard. Sorry. Yeah. So, listen, <laughs> tonight, we got a set of blind samples, all right? And, uh. Check it. Been known to fuck this up. Will, yeah, that's true. William, good sir, sent us a good old fashioned blind whiskey roar. Hey. He sent us four samples. We don't, actually, we don't know categories even at this point. No. I'm gonna leave each, I'm gonna leave a little in each one. Yeah. Um. I take a little bit more of it. No, 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 wrong cats. It doesn't matter, it's bud. It's gonna drive me nuts. They're, they're not labeled by the cat. Well, how, hey, the plastic thing's still there. Okay, that bothers you too. All right. So, uh, if you don't know the rules, yeah, um, the plastic this, what takes, take, here, take D. This is a blind whiskey lore. What that means is we will uh, run through them, A through D, run back D through A, and then we will rank them, AKA put them first four through fourth, and see which one we like the most. I haven't poured D yet. What have you been doing? Talking. All right, that's fair. Um, so. Because he sent these in uh, blind fashion, there's a little key over there that Sean's got on the side of the table. And those have the answers. You probably switched those up, didn't you? Like I said, no, I didn't. Uh, like I said, we don't know the category for these. We don't know proofs, ages. We literally know, we know drastically less than the San Francisco World Spirits people knew when they did theirs. I think one of these is McKenna and it'll come first. <sighs> Let's get into it. Wow. Hey. This is the most on topic you've ever been in your I'm, life. I'm living on a topic, dude. Oh, that sounds good. It's a little floral. Oh, that is a little floral. You know, it's some. I don't, I can't way. Ever, I don't no, know it's if it's proof because it's so warm right now. It's proof. It's a billion in this garage. Uh, I think it's slightly under a billion, but yeah, it's close. Uh, Heat index of uh, <laughs> a trillion? 999 million. Like a proofed up Blayton's Gold. Oh. Make that make sense. Plain Gold is not a low proof though. It's not. But it's got that, that, that little, little thing about so it. That's, so it is definitely like red fruit heavy. Yeah. For sure. But. Red fruit. I mean, a, a proofed up Bland's Gold could be an antique one of that. Butter. In a weird way. Both florally, kinda. Mm. If Sean loves this and I don't, this is Antique 107 or Maker's Cask. Those are the options. Not Maker's Cask. Um, don't think it's Maker's either. Mm. Or sorry, I don't think it's uh, Antique. I like that. I it's, really like that too. It has an orange citrusy note on they the palate. They get a zesty. Mm -hmm. I don't know. And then I a keep, little, I think a little chocolate on the finish. I keep getting like, um, like a black cherry note in the back I'm of gonna, this. I'm gonna say a chocolate covered Coffee bean in the very in the finish, a tiny. I'm not saying like the milk chocolate or the dark chocolate or whatever it is. It would offset the bitterness of the bean. Like way in the deep back, it's like a dark cherry cola e on the the nose. All right, Mate. B for bad mama jamma. Oh my goodness gracious! It should be a fun fun time. That's like caramel banana. Yeah. Velvety, caramely banana. Have you ever smelled velvet? Like it's, it's, uh, yeah, it's syrup. It smells like. It's log cabin after you put it in the microwave and drizzle all over. What's log cabin? It's a type of syrup. 
Oh, we are uh, Mrs. Buttersworth house. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. That's funny. Okay. Sorry for the confusion. Not an Aunt Jemima? It's not Aunt Jemima. Aunt Jemima is not a Miss Buttersworth. It's not. It's just not. There's a... Like a... I don't think it's waxing. Oh I think gosh. it's like a fatty, funky note on the back end of this. If you took the ripest banana that wasn't brown yet or bruised, and you just drizzled warm caramel all down it. I would I, think Eagle Rare Store pick off this. Nope. Nope. If it is, I'm going to cut out me saying nope that confidently. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I, you know what I was thinking more is like, I'm, I'm Eagle, almost thinking like an old, for, old Forester, but it's almost like, it's not as dense as President's Choice. But it's way it's, more dense yeah. than like but any sort of I've never drink. got that like fatty smell no, off of Old either. Forester. That's it's a, definitely that's the thing that's like, missing from the Old Forester. I can definitely get it in the background too. That one always stands out for me. Man, that follows through. Man, it's got like a wow, birthday cake through. to it. Like okay. Sweet. Good luck beating that. That is fat kid. That is a fat kid's bourbon. I don't mm. care what anybody says. Like it's oily. It's nice and oily. Mm -hmm. It's really sweet. The oak slides into those DMs at the very end. Dude, that's after like a, a long night house. of drinking. Like how that finishes out is like that sweet oak barter house-ish. It's really rich too. The longer it finishes, I'm getting a little bit of, a little too much oak the longer it finishes. I'm that's getting a little like, a, it's fading into like a, a touch of cinnamon, I think. Oh, that's it. All right, do we want to update them to what we just Beer's learned? great. Yeah, so um, we, and we don't necessarily know, but we think these are all 10-year plus MGPs. Yeah. That's what we think. Yeah. That's like, like, we know one of them is a Litchfield cask, which we've never had. Yeah. That's literally all the information we have, so. So you guys have all the information that, that we, we do. C. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, this is gonna, this will give, the nose on this is gonna give B a run for its money. It's got a little bit of that um, dry oak into it, like right in the mid. A little it's, bit. Like it's almost an undertone an Elijah on Craig the entire oak. thing. Almost an Elijah Craig oak. Not, um, but not in an offensive way. No. It's like the good part that Elijah Craig left in. Ooh, this is that rich. This is, now here's the thing. This could be placebo because of what we learned in between. This smells like like a mayor, like a good mayor pingree blue label to me. All right. It's that rich, dense oak with some of that cherry, like some of the dark chocolate think, covered yeah. cherry. Yep, yep, yep. That's where I was gonna go with it. Dude, that's so good. Oh, it's like toasty. That's like toasted marshmallow. Oh my gosh. That's like, um, that's dessert in mm. a different way than B was. It's very sweet, but it's not the same sweetness. I feel like that one's just a little imbalanced though. Okay, like, like there's, it doesn't have, uh, not that it's spiky, it's just late. Like the the, oh. the front of the palate just feels kind of muted. And then it all rolls on mid palate into finish. I feel like up front is just vanilla. But that finish is that caramel drizzled oak. Yeah, it's really good. Um, I'm just, I don't know, I'm gonna have a little nip. It's almost got an herbal note on the, on the late finish. You on, is that your second sip? Mm -hmm. On the late finish, I got like an herbal note to her. That I, like a slightly earthy note? Uh, just a tiny bit. Just a tad. It kind of poked its head up and left. For me, I think it's like um, a good barrel. Good barrel char. Is what okay. Uh, it rolls out into. Yeah. There's a nice, nice, nice oakiness in there. But it too. doesn't get to like any coffee or chocolate nope. or anything like There's that. No it bitterness. Just, it's just, yeah, it's just kind of a barrel char. All right. D. Oh, this is very different. Well, that is very different than all the rest of them. Okay, wait. Did you just kiss your bicep? No, I... No, you kissed it. You went... I was getting low. I'm gonna rewind it so you can, everybody can hear the sound. Okay, I was getting... There it was. This is very different. This is very chocolatey on the nose. Uh, zesty, like lemon. Do you get the chocolate too, though? You know what I'm saying? In the end, like, it's, uh... I do. How about that? I have the lemon. I see what you're saying. Yeah. But it has that like candy bar sweetness. It's weird. Yeah. That's, that is weird. That's drastically different. And like it's got a spiciness to it. Yeah, too. yeah, okay. I think that's the zest. I yeah. think the zest is like a little spicy. It's spicy. Is it? Mm hmm. In a very good way though. I think there's almost clove on that. Is Lickfield a rye? I have no idea. We don't know what it is. Mm. 
That's spicy. There's a Ooh, spice. That's good. There's like a oh. There's like an all spice in there. That really like evolves through mm -hmm. too. Like it's pretty spicy, uh, like all throughout the middle part of my yeah. tongue, and then it sits there for a minute, and I have a breath, and it just pulls it down. That is all spicy. Like a, that is like an all spice. Ooh. I'm not calling it a rye. I'm saying I could be tricked into leaving. It's a, got that there's really a real spicy, nice. really um, like oily and really spicy nose that would make me think it is rye. But it's more like an old Forster rye, yeah. where it is that like like I said, oil, like high barley maybe. Yeah, it's know. very uh, different. Um, it's it very is. Different. It stands out. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's very well balanced too. Like start to finish, okay. all the way into like after having a breath, you're like, mm -hmm. dang, that's still going. It's got okay. such a long finish that it evolves. Yeah. All right, we're gonna sit here for a minute, take a little break, drink some water, and then we'll go back uh, from D, and then we'll go to, all the way up to A, and then we will rank them after that. Yep. See you in a bit. I wasn't even ready, ready. I was asking oh, you. said, are we ready to run a bag? I said, yep, click, beep. All right, cool. Click, click, boom, dude. Is that POD? I think so. Oh, this smells good coming back. It smells like molasses now. D. Pretty common to rise. <laughs> <laughs> so you get, I get a lot of molasses dude. now, dude. It's like, darker now. They're all very sweet whiskey, so I think that's something that's really covered up when you run four into each other. Yeah. The A is A is different sweet though, for sure. It's a little spicy. Yeah. Not seemingly not as spicy. Weirdly. Because it's like you really pick up the differences when you go back to back. Yeah. We, <clears throat> we've had time to. Ooh, this is now basically weird. our first whiskey. That's weird. It's drastically different. I still like it a lot. I do. It's not as interesting this time. It's not. Some of the some of the uh, what the we would have considered rye notes yeah. are gone. Actually, yeah. like when I say gone, I mean gone. I think they're just not highlighted as much as they were before. Sure. It's still a really good glass. Um, I really like that a lot. Still. This is like walking out of the kitchen and somebody's making waffles and brewing coffee. It's just so it's just so welcoming and inviting. <laughs> Smells like nostalgia and happiness. Smells like a nice calm morning on the lake. I don't know what else you want, dude. Not one actual milk. It smells so good. That's gonna be tough to beat, nose wise. Nose wise, I completely agree. I'm gonna I'm gonna go two sips because I took a sip of water. So the first sip will be a little diluted. Mm. Man, that one that's got a lot of zest on it now too in the beginning. A little. Mm. Mm. So now Ooh, you're, it's caramel now, up front. Oak in the end, dude. Now Ooh. you're tasting in reverse, like everything that's highlighted out of this one. Yeah. I like Oof. that. Mm. That tastes like a really good classic bourbon. Morning time notes is what that's that is. so good. Okay. Morning time. So this was the, the comparison I'm, I'm very excited to see. It's coming back the other way into B from C. Oh! Oh! Dude, it's still really- This is Banana Foster. It still reminds me of a really good Old Forester store pit. It's like that, but I feel like it's but there's too something dense. On, yeah, there's something on top of it too. It's too much richness though. The back end is all that rich, rich mm -hmm. notes that it didn't have. Like it, it had the, the sweetness, but it, it lacked the, the dense oak chalkiness and the, the end. I, it feels like I'm swimming in toffee. That's what it feels like. It feels like I'm back, I'm back, what do you call it? Backstroking. Through a pool of toffee. You're a breaststroke kind of man, be <laughs> honest here. I don't think I know how to actually, I'm a doggy paddle kind of man, you know what I'm saying? You're the don't drown kind of guy. <laughs> You're the lifeguard on watch kind. <laughs> that guy's gonna give me trouble. <laughs> okay. I think that the palate on that follows Ooh. through on the nose exactly how you want it to. That's what I think. A is uh, pretty solid too. A, mediocre at best. Mediocre at best. Let me tell you why. It's the most floral by far. Mm -hmm. It's like that red, the red fruit. Mm. Fuck, that's good. And there goes the swearing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. A's okay. I think that if there's a graininess or earthiness in one, A has it. Yeah. Okay. Like a youngness, almost. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I mean. That's my intention. It's got the most uh, shark notes in it. Yep. 
All right. You should you want to rank them? Um, do you know yours? No. I was going to say, there's so no way. you take some time to rank yeah, them? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to add one or two eight. I mean, B's going to do We will be so right back. Home. All right. We're back. And um, they're placed. And, you know, uh, I think it was actually relatively easy, I'd say. I'd say relatively easy. Yeah. Okay. Full run. Right this is the uh, the fastest stands ever placed. Anything. I can, yeah, that might be true. So, we we actually completely agree. Mm -hmm. Fourth through first, we agree on all four. Want to go fourth place first? Fourth place first. This a. is MGP Whiskey War. Okay, MGP Whiskey War. This is A. Fourth place. And uh, we'll see you guys next week. Oh no. What? Oh no. <clears throat> Not bad. A is fourth. For Beer Pingree 10 year single barrel. Frank's Market Store Pick. Frank. Sorry, Frank. Step your game listen, up. We love Pingree too. There is we a, have blinded listen, Pingree very high before. We've blinded Pingree in first and second in crazy lineups. Mm -hmm. So it just happens to be this pick. Yeah. Um, or these other ones are just that much better. Um, okay, third place. D. You sure that's correct? Yep. Third place is D. It is Lickfield Distillery Batch Cash Drink Bourbon Whiskey. 12 so, years. Okay. First release, 56.5%. First release? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's MGP? Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, we've never had that. We've never uh, had the, the Mayor Pingree Lickfield. was uh, 526 I forgot to say that. So it's 105 So that's actually, that's not high at all. None of these are high, I'll tell you that. They're all cast, but they're not high. I know. Okay. The highest one is 100 Please don't say it was B. It was D. Thank God. <laughs> okay, third, second place, C, for both of us. Deadwood Tumbling Dice, 11 years Whoa. straight bourbon whiskey. Is it a store pick? No. Really? Mm -hmm. Whoa, okay. We've had Tumbling Dice once yeah. before, and we liked it a lot. Not on camera, we had it at a tasting. All right. And I remember it tasting different, did you? Yeah, but his was a store pick. Oh, okay. The only one we've ever had was a store pick, so. First place for both of us is B. It's gonna be a shock. Tell me, Boone County, which one? Joseph Magnus, straight bourbon whiskey, private barrel select, North Carolina Bourbon Society pick. No dickle in this pickle. <laughs> Could he write that? Yep. Barrel, 12 year, 11 month MGP at 52.8%. So that is Joseph Magnus unfinished. Non finished bourbon. Stop yes. finishing your shit. <laughs> Stop uh, putting it in Sherry and Tony. Yeah, cool. Okay. This? That's good. We've never, here's the thing, this is actually one, of, this is more interesting to me now than some of our other MGP stuff mm -hmm. because we've never had three of those. No. We've never had Joseph Magnus, Lickfield, or Tumbling Dice. I, uh, I didn't read that the, the Mayor Pingree was a store pick at first. It was like, mm -hmm. oh shoot, we just shit on one of our favorite whiskeys. And then I was like, store pick, nah, it's them, not us. Oof, that Joseph Magnus has this unique profile to it. That's so banana-y and it's so good. And it's very good. Uh, thank you, William. Yeah, this is great. Thank you, sir, for sending us these. It's a treat. Um, it, this is interesting because if I see a Magnus store pick from here on out, I would buy yeah. it. If I saw a Magnus store pick before this, I wouldn't have no. bought it. Because we've only had the silver label, which is like the finished one, and we don't love the finished one. Okay. His lineup, I forgot yeah, he put that. I might be a little biased to my state bourbon society group, but his, oh, his order was BDAC. Yours is BCDA, so pretty close actually. Yeah. He, the only, he put he our liked, second place last. Yeah. That's crazy. That's hmm. cool they put his own, I like that. I, I do like that. He put his own do that. order on there. Tell us, let, let yeah. us know. If you send us samples that we're gonna do a war on, yeah. definitely let us know what you think. Yeah, put your, put your, he put his order on there. Just, uh, you know, I don't know if he did them blind. But That'll let you know if uh, we recommend stuff, and you should. <laughs> yeah, if you follow it. our palace. Yeah, right? yeah, I like that. I like that. Joseph Magnus, shockingly amount. So did he. Shocking amount of like in that one. So, cool. Hey, thank you. Indeed. I appreciate that. You uh, have opened my eyes to a new, new brand of store picks that I wouldn't have looked at before. Have so. we ever seen one? No, but if we go out of state, we will. We could. That's true. So, um, and if we would have gone out of state and saw one, we wouldn't have bought it before. This. Oh no! And now we would I have definitely consider it. I would thumb my nose at that pick, having just, the Magnus that we have. We only have the finished. 
So we've yep. I've only ever seen the finish. And so. we weren't crazy to where that one ended up at. Yep. So, so cool. It is what it is. Hey, well, we're the Bourbon Junkies. Thank you for sending us these oh, samples. Thank you so much. We thank appreciate it. Thank you for allowing us to make this video. It's all because of you. Yeah. You should know the best. So, um, yeah, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't. Helps out a lot. Um, you can check us out on Patreon. Yeah, we're there. Teespring. Yeah, yeah. Huh? Challenge coins. Oh, yeah, we got a lot of stuff those stuff like that. So uh, links for all those in the comments below. Yeah, we're the Bourbon Junkies. Proofs in the fort. Joseph Magnus killing the game. Yeah.